Ah, mais si, il y a un petit oignon blanc. Ah oh, oui, ça, c'est une bonne idée de mettre un oignon blanc dedans. At this restaurant in central Paris, what Alice says goes. She's head chef and with her husband Olivier is here running the kitchen six days a week. It's a high pressure job that takes its toll on their family. I think that a lot of women, naturally enough, also have their family life. And this is a job which really cuts you off from your family life. It's a job where you burn yourself and you cut yourself. So you have to be a bit of a tomboy, really. Little by little, women in France are donning their chef's hats and taking control in restaurant kitchens. At this French cooking festival, women chefs were the theme of the year. But it's still a long road to culinary equality. La cuisine vient des femmes. Cooking comes from women. It's mothers above all who pass on cooking and who were the original cooks. Men took over cooking when it became a profession. Women had a lot of problems doing that because they had to fight against male colleagues who didn't much like having women under their feet. So it's natural, really, that we're seeing women returning to food and cooking. Of the 500 French chefs with Michelin stars, just 14 are women. And only one has the full three stars, and sophie Peak. For her, the recent resurgence of cooking as a fashionable pastime is a great chance for women to get into the game. What's great is to see that cooking isn't a burden for women anymore. As a general rule, it's more likely now to be a pleasure and a passion. So that gives cooking a lot of mileage and gives women a much bigger chance to come into this job than previously. And a change in the kitchen could mean a change on the plate. For some, women just don't cook like men. Women do it out of love. It's a cuisine of pleasure. So you enjoy it, so you have a great meal. You don't question things when it comes to women's cooking. You don't say, how did she do that? You don't play games. What's she's put in there? No, you just lick your fingers and stop trying to understand it. Maybe a while before everyone here gets to experience that, though, in the great cooking schools of France, two in three students are still men.